Yo, what is up guys? For today, we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be looking at the Season Pass armor and the ornaments as well. I ended up getting them all not too long ago and it's interesting. It's very interesting. I'm gonna come out and right, say it. I do like most of the armor except like the Warlocks. I think the Warlocks is the weakest set and maybe, maybe the Titans have the stronger set. I'm just not too sure, so. Real quick, this is the Hunter. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the metal part here. It's probably one of the coolest sets, especially the hood. I really like the hood, especially if like you pair it with the Halloween helmet. I think that would look really cool, really menacing. I just wish we had more Halloween or like scary themed armor. That would make it really cool. <laughs> and real quick, I will show you guys how the ornament looks on this and this is the ornament i think the ornament looks really cool it's like so usually in all of the other season pass armor whatnot reviews that i've done i've shown you guys that like oh it's very minimal changes and this one actually like it seems like they put a lot more effort into it because there's just so much more things that are different. Like sure, the hood looks exactly the same, but they added this right here. They added the wire. They added uh, so much just extra stuff, which I think is really cool because they added the whole backpack thing. Sure, the cloak is still the same, but I can live with that. It's not that big a deal. Not only that, but they added the these uh, things right here forget what they're called that it all over i think it looks really cool the boots are completely different as well you have an extra metal part here two metal parts on the arm the legs and then i'm pretty sure that as well let me see yeah so you I, we actually get different pants and a different layer right here so that's pretty cool i actually do like the fact that the pants actually change a lot my only gripe is i think the boots for this one i think the white doesn't change color let me see yeah it doesn't change color uh big that's one of my biggest pet peeves you guys don't know it's one of my biggest pet peeves the chest piece also changes quite a bit so if you guys don't know it changes a lot so right here this down part right here is actually connected to the chest piece so if i change it to anything else then you guys will see that it does actually still keep it. I do like this part. I just think, uh, I don't know how I feel about it being connected. It feels kind of weird, but overall I do like it. Not only that, but we get this right here, like obviously zoom in later, but then we have this right here, which is really cool. So if you guys see right here, this is what I'm talking about. We get this, we get the, the wire, everything, plus this little, cape thing for the arms i i think the the arms are or the legs i'm sorry i think chest piece is really cool <laughs> and it's just really cool that we get this wire thing as well the helmet is this the helmet is probably the most disappointing part from the whole thing for me because it's just weird like why why these things here like why Ultimately, I don't really care too much for it. It does change it quite a bit, but not enough in my opinion. You guys can see it does look very similar. And the arms are probably the coolest part, mostly because it doesn't have much armor on it. And this is like the only piece that's actually armor. If you guys don't know, the shader I'm wearing right now is the last wish raid. If you guys can see, all the armor pieces are are this color this like bone color this one doesn't have it and that makes me happy because now i can go for an all no armor build for my hunter which i'm gonna be definitely doing like my hunter slash every other class this season i'm definitely gonna do that i'm not gonna use this shader so expect something completely completely different and obviously i might actually use part of this armor set so yeah, I I really enjoy the the hunters. The, I think the hunters have a pretty good uh, pretty good armor set. 
but I think that Titans have the best one most likely. So let's go to the Titan real quick. All right, I am back with the Titans. Now, the base armor for the season pass is kind of bad in my opinion. I like the boots, the boots look cool. The arms, I think, is what really gets me. It's like the one, the one, um, the one uh, shoulder, or yeah, the shoulder piece is just a little off, especially for this armor set. It looks very uh, symmetrical. And then when you get to the arms, it's just like, you only have one. It's like a little weird. And then the chest piece, I think, is weak as well. Or not the chest piece, I'm sorry. The helmet. I think the helmet is probably on par with the arms as like weak like i think the chest legs and even mark are really cool i will say though that the mark does clip when right here it's not clipping but when i get it out of it it clips a little right there so that's weird but let me show you guys the actual armor set and here is the armor set i think this looks super cool i just think that maybe the arms the pauldrons i think they could have been a little bit better because i would have liked it if it was more into the arms so like when i say that it's only connected to this piece of iron or whatever it would have been cool if it like shaped to the to the arms form so kind of like it went like that that's just like a little thing for me but let's look the let's look at the mark first so the mark looks really cool when it's not clipping here it looks pretty cool it, it is unfortunate that the yellow does not change color i did not say that in the hunters but yeah the, the yellow does not change color for the hunters titans or warlocks that's unfortunate considering if i'm not wearing yellow i'll most likely never wear this but it's the same thing with the with the legs right here this uh copper looking color does not change color as well it's minimal but i still kind of notice it and if you guys don't know that's kind of the thing i notice stuff like that but i think the legs are really cool it adds the knee pads it adds the armor down here it adds a bunch of stuff which i think is really cool i really like it when they go all out even the metal changes somehow so i really like the legs a lot the legs is probably going to be one of the pieces that i will actually be wearing the arms are the chest piece however does not change much it makes it a little bit bulkier i think and it and it takes out the pack right here i think overall the chest piece is kind of the most disappointing part for me because it could have been a little bit better in my opinion i think I don't know if because i don't know if you guys have noticed but for the hunter the arms they had a like a little device there it would have been cool to have like the device on there kind of like in dead space but whatever i definitely do like this part but i would have liked it if the chest piece was a little bit higher so when i say higher let me see if i can show you give you guys an example so this one I think it would have been better if it was like this high up here because it just looks a little weird down here. That's just a, the thing for me though. But still, I think the chest piece looks dope. The arms, again, I would like it if it curved into the arms. I love the tallies and whatnot. That's really fucking cool. But it just feels like anything can really take them off. It doesn't feel secure. So that's like one of my biggest pet peeves for the arms but i still think they have probably the strongest set and the helmet for me and my like personally i think is the weakest part of the armor aside from the mark it's just not enough i think maybe it looks better on males i have not seen it on males so ho hopefully it looks better on males but if you guys if you guys don't know i have a female titan and yeah i think she looks really cool i like her armor a lot uh i'm definitely going to be using parts of this armor set with other parts again i have not even tried to see what i can do this season for looks and whatnot but we'll see what i can do i'm definitely gonna want to do that soon because i've gotten pretty much everything i've wanted I, if you guys haven't seen i have all the i've done i i soloed flawless the dungeon not too long ago 
I should have that video but before no no I still have to edit that video so I will have that video after this one hopefully hopefully so the next and last one is gonna be my warlock so my warlock has the weakest set like I'm not even gonna lie to you there's like maybe two pieces of this armor set actually that's not fair there's one piece that does not change at all and when I say at all like sure it changes the material that does not change everything so this is the this is the warlock uh yeah i like it i like it a lot actually because it shows the boots it has this weird iron thing which i thought was cool and i think i thought it just looked really cool i mean the arms are very forgettable but that's quite very unfortunate let me show you the ornaments real quick. So this is the ornaments. I think it looks really cool. It's just that there are a few things that I think really weigh this armor set down. So let's start off with the mark. The mark actually does not change that much. It's a V and I think it's leather now instead of this one, which was a V and like another material. That's it. It's very unfortunate <laughs> that, like, essentially, like, if you guys notice, like, look, check this out. It's really wild that they did this, so. I think the, the V gets a little bit bigger, just a tad bit bigger, but the material changes to leather instead of, like, whatever that is. And, yeah, that's, that's not good. Like, I just, I'm surprised. Like, wow. Y'all really did that. Like, that's, that's wild. So, the leg piece, I think, uh, would have been one of my favorite pieces if the this did not change color, or if this actually changed color. So if you guys see right here, it does not change color <clears throat> at all, which is quite unfortunate because those boots looked really cool up until that point when I saw, oh, they don't change color, cool. The chest piece is interesting. So if you guys haven't seen, let me see. So this one, I really like it because it's open here and you guys can see like the like dip right here in the in the season pass ornaments they just went full on this shit looks like a rib cage it looks gross as fuck in my opinion I just do not like it I can only imagine how gross it looks on tight or on males so that's the only part that really like makes me not want to wear the ornament is the fact that this looks really gross but to be fair <clears throat> the ornament actually changes a uh, quite a bit a few things so if you guys haven't seen like there's no book here there's no uh iron thing here there's no gross uh rib cage here let's go to the season pass armor makes it almost a little tighter but i don't know i know that's not true the material actually does change color as well not only that but you get this iron thing here and like i said you you get this right here you get these right here you get this right here you it changes quite a bit so <clears throat> it kills me because it it looks super cool you get this wire thing it looks so cool it's just that this right here really ruins it for me this looks fucking gross like it would have been cool if it was like maybe like that where the middle right here would have been like this material that would have been better i just feel like this right here the ribbed cage thing looks really gross so that's my biggest pet peeve from this armor i think the arms are really cool i'm definitely going to be wearing some of this armor or this arm for pretty much other things i really like how they did the arms it looks so cool like Personally, probably one of the coolest arms right now that the Warlocks have. Mostly because it changes a lot of it too as well. That's the thing. This this season, they've changed a lot of the armor compared to previous seasons. Like the material changes and you get like more metal parts and this part right here, which I'll show you guys in a minute if I can. But yeah, personally, I love it. It looks super cool. <clears throat> and then the, ch the helmet, which... It is cool. I'm not going to say it's not cool, but it doesn't change that much in my opinion. You get 
obviously you get the wire up here and it does it does get more angular i guess you would say let me see <clears throat> so this is a regular helmet and this is yeah so like up here it gets a little bit more angular it's just that i don't i feel like it doesn't change enough oh no it actually connects up all, all this right here i don't know it's just really weird like i don't know it, it looks the same but i know it's different if that makes any sense it's still i still like this helmet it's just that weird thing like it looks different but it doesn't look different so that's pretty much it for all the season pass armor let me know if you have any questions in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it but yeah if you guys ask me the hunters have the most uh, hunt it's between the hunters and the war and the uh, hunt the titans for sure titans and hunters got the most uh, strongest sets this season the warlocks in my opinion did not the warlocks just have way too many problems with their ornaments individually that i think only the arms are the coolest part the chest piece like i said there's a few things that i don't like about it the legs as well there's just the uncolorable part and the the bond's just pathetic in my opinion <clears throat> and then on on it and obviously like the helmet for me just feels a little weird like it, i know that it's different but at the same time it just looks the same for the hunter i had really no issue aside from the pants not having not being able to change color at that one spot and obviously the yellow does not change color on anyone that's a huge problem for me for the mark and for the class item i think the titan had a few problems as well but i still like the armor set overall so yeah let me know your opinion in the comments below other than that i will see you guys later